the gorgeous people of the gorgeous gorgeous galaxy it's gorgina looking like cinderella gorge and we back with another video gang 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 if you are not a part of the gorge gang change that or you'll get beat up and you don't want to get beat up like this video subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below you don't know what to comment <laughs> Tell me I'm gorgeous. Duh. So we back with an actual story time this Friday. Last Friday we told a story. But it was more like a little bit of like gossip, a little tea. It was a little slight conversation. This is a real full-blown story time. We back on the couch. We got some pillows just in case things get a little. <laughs> and it's Friday. So we're going to tell a story on Friday. On Fridays, we tell stories. It's story time. Hey, it's story time. Hey, going to open a book and read everything you need. Gina's going to tell you a story. Story time, mother. <laughs> it is Friday, and we are going to tell a story. I have a really good story for y'all today. This is actually a recent story. I try not to tell recent stories, especially when they involve other people, because I don't do drama. Y'all know that. But, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, we actually back with a real story. Let's just, let's just do it. Who cares? If you see this video and you know it's about you, nothing I said is a lie. Okay? Okay. So, yeah. Um, this story is about a collab that I was supposed to do on my channel. That if you look on my channel, this collab is not here. And I'm going to tell why all the stuff that happened, how my supposed work partner was being weird, all the stuff she put me through. And then I ended up getting blocked. Well, she unfollowed me. Well, no. Yeah, she unfollowed me and then removed me from following her. So, yeah. Well, let's back up and get into what Recent happened stories, with this girl. Especially if it involves someone else. I got more receipts to, like, make the story more. Not credible, because y'all know I don't be lying. But, like, just to get more details to the story, you know. And I don't have to really just go off memory. Because, you know, yeah. Okay. So, yeah um it started off um there's a friend of mine um i never really met her in person but she was best friends with someone that i'm really cool with and so you know just few that <laughs> just through like mutual a mutual friend like we followed each other on social media and she, we were kind of like dm and communicate at different times on these social media platforms where we followed each other so i'm thinking she's cool like i said i don't really know her she's pretty she's a mother so you know so far she's good in my books like you know i i'm not like a i'm not a person that is hard to get along with or like real picky and judgmental like for real my three my three um no's like red flags dead ends deal breakers with friendships you cannot be a weirdo you cannot be a liar you cannot be fake you cannot be a hater and you can't be rude. Like, I do not like rude negative energy. Those are like the only five things where I won't mess with you. If you don't do any of those things, what's, what am I beefing with you for? What if I don't like you for? Like, I really don't care. Like, I could be cool with anybody. And I was cool with her online. You know, everything seemed okay. So, I see that she was starting a YouTube. And who does YouTube? Gina. So, like the very nice, supportive person I am, I offer, no, I don't, hold on, let's go to the receipts, let's go to the receipts, so, okay, so when she first made her YouTube, I basically was, I was just support, I subscribed, I reposted her channel, 
just simple things I do for anybody. Like if I know you and you're doing something, I'm gonna repost it. You can check my Instagram. You can check the like facts. That's just me. That's just who I am. So I did that for her. I just gave her a little shout out. Try to help her start her channel, get some subscribers. Okay, that's how it started out. And then one day, this is April. This is April. This is actually in the morning, one fifty six. <laughs> I didn't even peep the time, but that's beyond. That's beside the point. But uh, so she basically DM'd me. She was asking, "Do I know any editing?" Um, she said YouTube editing videos. Not, not to be rude, but um, I also learned from this person. She's not very um, bright, but that's beyond the point. What she meant was, do you know any like editing apps? I'm assuming that's what she meant. But <laughs> I'm not trying to be shady. I, I was telling her what app I use. Because once again, I am not that person that if you ask me something, I'm going to act like I don't know. Or I forgot all that you know you know that run around people be putting you through you try to ask them about something the oh who did your hair oh I don't remember where you get them clothes from um I I I someone else bought them for me you know the lies that people be saying I'm not that person if you ask me something I'm gonna tell you where I got it from how much it was I'm gonna send you links like that's very much Gina I'm a very supportive and helpful person but we'll get to it in this story why I gotta stop being like that. We'll get there. We'll get there. So yeah, um, I'm like, it'd be easier to show you in person. And once again, I was just trying because another thing, she has a daughter. I have a daughter. They're about the same age. Her daughter just turned two. My daughter is one and a half. So you know, we always were talking about having play dates and stuff like that. But I don't drive, and I be kind of busy, and I was pregnant. So like. I ain't really ever make a play date with her, but I was thinking, oh, this would be a nice time to do that. So I was just trying to like, you know, create something we could do in person, right? Right. I've um, I reposted her page again because she finally posted her first video, and you know, she said thank you, and she was like, yeah, we could definitely get together. I'm like, cool, perfect. And she said, let me know. I told her I'm free anytime, which I don't know why I said that because I'm not free anytime. I mean, technically I am because I don't work, but <laughs> I don't know why this was like I'm free anytime because that's not really true, but that's what I said. <laughs> so we was going to meet the next day. She sends her address, all that good stuff. And then I realized that that wasn't a good day. I think I had something else planned. But once again, I, I wasn't thinking at the moment when I was, you know, making a plan with her. So we ended up rescheduling for Friday that same week. So I suggested we do a collab. Because I've never done a collab at this point. And I I personally believe, since so she's starting YouTube, doing a collab with a... I'm not the biggest, but I, I have a bigger following than her. So doing a collab would be really useful for her. Cause you know, if I me posting your channel doesn't really give people much, they might not ever go and click on a link. But if you're in a video with me, someone might see you and like your personality, like what you're given, and then they'll go to your channel. So once again, this is me, big sis type Gina. That's just the type of person I am. Trying to help her. I was suggesting we do a collab. To kill two birds with one stone. I can show you how to edit, and you got a video to use, right? Right. That's what I was thinking. I was pregnant at the time. She said she knew I was pregnant, which is weird. Cause why was she suggesting we drink? I'm gonna leave that alone. But when I actually went and met her, she said she already knew I was pregnant. But another thing we'll get into. I feel like she's a liar. Like she get pathological. Like oh, we didn't even give her a nickname. We didn't give her a nickname. We're going to call her Lila because she likes to lie. We're going to call her Lila. That's her name, Lila. So, yeah, me and Lila, we're supposed to be doing this video. We still cool. We talking about planning out. I was telling her I wanted to play Never Have I Ever because I did. And I bought the little game. I paid for it. I, the little cards that I saw from another YouTuber's channel, I bought them. And, you know, I was prepared to use and play the game with her. We got some fun. So, you know, I see her and now, boom. Okay. <laughs> this is stuff that is not receipts for. So, I get to her house. Um, I didn't end up bringing my daughter because I had an Uber. 
And I'm carrying my ring light. I'm carrying in a box of cards. I'm pregnant. So I did not bring my daughter with me because that would have been extra luggage, right? So I came alone. And, you know, she has her daughter there, which, once again, I don't mind. Even though her daughter kept trying to break my ring light. <laughs> but I don't mind. I have, a, I have a daughter pretty much the same age. My daughter does the same thing. So I didn't even mind all that. What I minded was the fact that I was at her house. So, 4. I probably got there maybe 3.30. I don't know the exact time I got there. But let's just say 4. From 4 until like 10 o'clock, I was at Lila's house working on this video. Once again, pregnant. Two babies at home. Right? This is our first time meeting in person. She introduces herself all that cool stuff and i tell her you know i gotta kind of open up and tell her like i'm pregnant because you know we said so we can't do the drinking video so i suggest that we just do two never have i ever's part one of, um i think i was thinking to do the part one on my channel and then part two on her channel so people could go to her channel to see the rest yes that was my intentions that was my plan and she's like cool yeah we can do that and then once again she said yeah i knew i figured you were pregnant how you figure I was pregnant, but you were just suggesting that I drink something? Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so we sit down, we get ready to play the game. And we were just having a couple of conversations. Like I said, there were certain things she was saying that sounded very fabricated about herself. She also mentioned how people used to say she was a liar. She said that when we were playing our game. Like, it was like a lot of weird stuff she was saying. She kind of said this other thing about trans people, which I did not like. Because if you know me, I'm a really big activist, especially for minorities, especially gay rights, trans rights. I stand for all them things. So that threw me off. And, you know, she was mispronouncing words that I'm just sitting here wondering, like, who taught you how to read? Like, it was a lot of weird things about her. But once again, I'm really not a judgmental person. I don't like weird people, but this is my first time meeting her. So I didn't want to make the exact judgment. Once again, spoiler alert, she is a weirdo, but we'll get into that. So, um, yeah, we record a video. Probably finished around like six. She was cooking dinner for her daughter and I guess herself. And she offered me some. It was actually pretty good. She made some real good mashed potatoes. And y'all, I love mashed potatoes. So, got a cool little dinner. I was eating with her daughter. Her daughter is also very cute. So, you know, it was cool. Everything was cool. So then I was going to start working on the editing. Or at least just showing her the app I use and how to get started. Now, the app I use, I have the um, pro version that I pay for, but you really don't need the pro version to do a lot of certain things. So, you know, she downloaded it. No, we, we recorded everything on my phone, which was a big mistake. I don't even know why I ended up doing that. But, so I was trying to airdrop her the parts for her, that I was going to go on her channel. Baby girl ain't got no storage, like no storage. And I was just sitting there thinking like, oh my God, how the heck do you plan on doing YouTube and you don't even have storage to maintain one video? One. Like, I don't know if she's even still doing YouTube because before I got unfollowed and stuff, she wasn't really posting new videos. So I don't know how serious she takes it, but if you know, you guys been here on my channel, I take this very seriously. Like, this is a passion of mine. I want to do YouTube. Like, just something to do because other people are doing it. I No, I actually love doing YouTube. This is fun for me. I love my channel. She don't even know how to record a video sideways. Like, her videos are in portrait mode when it should be in landscape. Like, a lot of little simple stuff, she just didn't even know and it just was like weird but you know she grabs this other phone because she had another phone thinking she'll have more storage no she didn't but she ends up deleting like a lot of stuff off her phone and 
eventually I was able to get the stuff to her, at least most of it. Cause I told you it ended up being like 10 o'clock and I'm tired. Like I'm pregnant. I gotta get back home to my, my other two children. I don't know how all night to be here with you trying to work on stuff that should already been taken care of before I got here. Like how were you planning on doing a video with no storage? And I even offered, I offered like, okay, well, I'll just go home. And, I think that's what I said. I was like, well, since you can't really make the storage, I'll just edit both videos. I offered you to do this hard work, extra homework for myself. I was going to just edit both videos. That's what I was going to do. And then I also was going to upload it to her channel for the one that's for her channel. That was the plan. And, you know, she's like, cool, okay. So, I end up going home. I go home that night. And, yeah, I go to sleep. I think I went straight to sleep because I was so tired. Like, it don't ever take me that long to record a video. And it definitely ain't that long process to be, like, editing and stuff. I usually don't even edit in the same day. But it was just, like, I was just tired. Like, we kept having to take breaks. Once again, I don't mind because it was for her child. But... You know, it, you know, <laughs> I'm a mother myself, so I don't mind. But if, for the most part, I have my kids asleep like during nap time, then I record. But every once again, everyone does not have the same professionalism that I do and don't take things that serious, which once again, ain't my problem. I, I, I really didn't mind a kid. I was being patient. I was being very patient. Okay. Very. So this is Saturday the next day after I just spent my whole day trying to record these videos. And we did successfully record the videos. I don't have the videos anymore, which I'll explain just in a sec. But they were recorded. They were done. They were complete. I even, that Saturday morning, because this, look, this is my progress, y'all. I record and as soon as I get a chance, I start editing as soon as possible. Like, I have a schedule. I release a video on Monday, and I release a video on Friday. So, I'm already trying to get this editing out of the way so I can have it posted for Monday, right? But here she comes Saturday. Here she comes. I just watched drive videos you sent me. Yours, LMAO. Actually, reading this out loud makes me feel like I'm stupid. But anyway, and can we redo them? I don't like how I was licking my lips the entire time. And you left your cards here. Want to try Monday? That way we can just record on my phone. Now, she wants to re-record a good like two hours worth of footage. Because you were licking your lips the whole time. Don't you think if you have a little character tick that that's not my problem? Like, I probably have things I do on video. Like, sometimes I scratch myself. Sometimes I'll be playing with my hair. You know, you just do different things. It's out of your control. It's normal. It's natural. Like, I don't know who should be watching on YouTube. These, like, fake, super perfect people who videos are so contrived that she thinks that's real life. But we don't do that over here in the Gorge Galaxy. Y'all already know. Gina is real. Gina is raw. Gina is one take. I don't plan to say anything. I don't plan to do anything. The only thing planned about my channel are the topics of a video. Sometimes I don't even plan what I'm finna look like. Sometimes when I'm getting ready to record, I'm like, shoot, what am I about to put on? Like, this is not that type of show over here. And if you thought that and anyone is thinking that, no, not over here. We real it in real. All your opinions and how you feel. Very that. <laughs> but yeah, she was like, let's redo the videos. And so I'm like, re-record both videos. Like, that's a lot. And, you know, I tell her, I'll have to see when would be a good time for me. Because the Ubers were really expensive to and from her house. And, mind y'all, she only lived like 10 minutes away from me. 
But each Uber to and back was at least like $20. So I spent $40 that day just to try and record a video. Once again, all out of the goodness of my beautiful, gorgeous Gina heart. I don't have on a necklace. I feel naked. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I was trying to be nice. And I did. I was nice. I, I took from myself to help somebody else. I'm about to... I like now, now that you want to delete it, I'm like just disinterested in her. Like, for the hundredth time, I take this seriously. This is my future career. Like, I want to be influencer. I love my channel. I take my video seriously. I'm professional. So now that you're showing me her unprofessionalism, I'm just like, I can't support you as hard as I was thinking I was going to. Like I said, even me her in person, there's a lot of weird things about her. A couple of stories she was telling me that I just was suspect of. Like, she just is giving weirdo. But, you know, I'm like, so I can go ahead and delete everything I already edited and have. And she says, yeah. I'm like, okay. She said, or next time I could come to you. Which... I don't even know if I want you to bring your spirits in my home. So I honestly was kept ducking her coming over here because I don't play that. Like, I don't just let anyone come in my house. And I just getting the vibes I got from her. I don't want her bringing that into my home. I really don't. Like, she might be a weirdo that'll get my address and then who knows what she'll do with it. Like, to tell her that, no, this is not going to be a good day. And she was like, it's for tomorrow. And I'm like, I know. Like, don't come tomorrow. You were like, just just forget about it. And she's like, I still have the video. So we don't get a chance to redo them. You just want to send me the closing and I put what I have out. What type of messy is that? I don't do no half-ass work over here on my channel. I don't do that. So, like, the fact that she was sitting there thinking I was going to accept to just take her have edited landscape on I me mean, portrait mode as videos and then just can't have my name attached to that no and like i told her i already deleted everything because soon as she gave me the word to delete i deleted it i don't i'm not wasting my storage and i don't need this no more if you don't want to do the video cool we don't have to do the video i'm not pressed like at all i'm not pressed because honestly, the same day, I recorded a different video. Like, you can go check the date. This is April. My channel didn't stop. I don't wait for nobody. I kept it going. She's talking about some right bummer. Who says that? Like, are you even taking it seriously? I don't think she was. Like, I honestly, and I, and I was talking with a friend of mine that also had a conversation about it with my boyfriend. Basically, it feels like she was just trying to clout chase all of me and use me to learn what I'm doing. I think that's all she was trying to do. But it, I'm sorry, sweetie. It didn't work out for you. Because God don't like ugly. And Gina see right through who genuine and who not. And I really, I'm not vibing with her. But like I said, I'm not a mean person. So if you ever need my help, unless you really did some real messed up things to me, I'm not going to... I'm not going to be rude and turn away from someone needs help. So I'm not sure what's up. She says an audio message. Basically, she was saying that she came with her period. She don't have no pads in her house. She don't have no way to get to the store. Um, There's a dollar store literally like two minutes away from her house. And honestly, where she lives or where I used to live, so I used to walk to that dollar store all the time. It's not a long walk, like at all. Um, we could just stuff some tissue and made it across the street. I was actually thinking I'm going to be the person to help her. So I tell her I'm at home with my with just my daughter. Um, my boyfriend is at work and her car seat is in his car. So even if I wanted to get to her, like take an Uber or something, which I wasn't about to spend no more money on this girl. I wasn't, I'm sorry. I couldn't even take no Uber because I have my daughter's car seat, which honestly, if it really was a mercy for myself, I would take my daughter without the car seat. But 
like I said, I didn't want to be... So maybe this is bad on my part. I wasn't being straight up with her. But I don't know. I'm just not really mean and confrontational. So I do have a bad habit. Instead of just telling it like it is sometimes, I would kind of like come up with excuses. Once again, I'm not lying. But if I really wanted to help her, I would have. But I really didn't. I, I'm sorry. I didn't. So, you know, I'm like, I wish I could help. I'm sorry. She's like, okay. But once again, it just seemed weird. Like, why are you randomly... I don't know. At least for me, I keep pads in my house. Because you don't know when you come up. Or most people do. Like, nowadays we have period tracks and stuff. You know when your period is coming. Like, how how did you run out of pads? I don't know, y'all. And like I said, there's, there's a dollar store that sells pads, like, right up the street from her house. And very good walking distance. Like... You, you bled because you wanted to bleed. Let's be honest. If that's even true. Like, I don't even know if this is a true story. She's just being weird. The next week, <laughs> she's asking me another question. Do I know how to set times upload videos on YouTube? I explained it to her. Because I'm not mean. Like, I'm just not mean. It's not in me to be mean. So I just go ahead and tell her. Because sharing information don't harm me. So I tell her. And that's kind of like the last time we talked until just a couple of weeks ago. Her daughter was having a birthday party. She invited me and my daughter. Um, I was going to go, but the day came. It was raining that day. And I have a newborn baby. So, like, here's the thing. I don't drive. So, if I want to go places... And I don't want to spend money on Ubers, which are very expensive since COVID happened. Like, Ubers are very expensive. Even five-minute trips are at least $12. Ubers are very expensive nowadays. So, if I don't want to do all that, the only form of transportation I have is my boyfriend. Most times, no. He don't really mind taking me places. But sometimes I don't even ask because... I know that me going somewhere means we all have to go. We cannot leave the children in the house. We have to pack up the baby. We have to bring my son. Everybody has to go to take me wherever I want to go. See him, if he wants to go somewhere because he can drive, he can just get up and go. And I can stay with the children. I really need to learn how to drive. Don't y'all get on my ass in the comments. I'm going to learn. Because trust me, it irritates me too. Because there's so many times I don't do things I would like to do. Because transportation is so stressful with children. You know, and not knowing how to drive myself. It's just a lot. So this is one of those situations. And like I said, this is not my bestie bestie. I don't know this girl like that. Not to be rude, but I am not pressed to come to your daughter's birthday party. I also, my birthday just passed a couple weeks ago. So I also, I, here's some details. I'm kind of like dead broke at the moment. Just trying to get myself ready for my birthday. Hair, nails, things I did on my birthday, makeup. Like I spent a lot of money on my birthday. Bought an expensive chain, like a lot of stuff. It was my birthday, so I was able to do what I wanted to do. And I did do that. However, I did a lot. <laughs> So I also knew I didn't have money to buy her daughter a gift. And I hate when people come to my stuff and don't bring gifts. So if I go to things, I always do bring a gift. If I've been to your event, you can check, fact check that. I do that. Especially if it's for children. Because I love kids and doing things for kids. So I couldn't afford a gift. It was raining that day. I didn't want to bring my daughter out. I'm talking about my baby daughter. You know, I didn't want to. I just didn't feel like it. And me and you ain't that cool to do all that for you. So I ended up telling her the day of that I'm not going to be able to make it. She's like, okay. And, you know, I because I have an app that tracks my followings and stuff, I didn't realize she unfollowed me. And she, I guess she removed me as a follower of her because I was already unfollowing her, which I don't take social media that serious. I do want my numbers to go up. But if they go down, especially because of petty little things, I really don't care. Like, I don't I don't have no hard feelings towards this person. She clearly has some issues with me. It's cool. Once again, it's supposed to be my very first collab. 
And I honestly want to work with a lot of people. I still want to work with other people. But these are the type of situations I be trying to avoid, especially with females. Females are so weird sometimes, especially when you're just gorgeous. You're just gorgeous and entertaining and perfect, pretty much. You know, it brings a lot of weirdos to you. I got other weirdo stories I can definitely share because she was not the first weirdo I've ever experienced. But, you know, the thing is, I feel like some people look at me bigger than what I look at myself. Which I want to I was explaining some other stories, but ever since I started doing YouTube and, you know, my follow count's gone up. Which, once again, I don't even have the biggest following. Like, check my social medias. Except for my TikTok, I'm only in the thousands. Like, I can walk down the street and I'm not being like, oh my God, it's Georgina. Hey, you the girl from YouTube. It's not giving that. Most of my biggest supporters don't even live in my area. Like, I'm no celebrity. I don't carry myself as a celebrity. I don't do none of that. Like, I don't even introduce myself as Gorgina. I say, hi, I'm my government name. Not even my government name, but the nickname of my government name. I don't sit here and pretend to be nothing that I'm not. But other people, for whatever reason, they see the Gorgina online, which is another reason why I don't like meeting people from offline because they already have a wrong impression of me. I'm not Gorgina. Let me let y'all know that. And another thing I like about story time videos, they are just raw. And if you watch these videos, you know the real me. I'm not Gorgina. I'm not just, oh my God, I'm so gorgeous. Like, I don't sit around and act like this all day. No, that's not me. Like, I'm just chill, funny, gorgeous. Being gorgeous is just what I am. It's not who I am. It's what I am. And, yeah, I just feel like some people just expect so much of me. And they just act weird. Like, they act so weird. Like, it's like meeting a celebrity. But I'm not a celebrity. Like, not even to sound cocky or none of that. Like, I don't know why people just have these expectations for me that I'm not even trying to live up to. Like, that's that's not what this is. I do YouTube because I like to reach and touch other people. I like if something I can share can might help somebody else. I also just love cameras. And I just love, I think I have an amazing personality. So, yeah. Why not share it out to the world? Right? God ain't make me this gorgeous for nothing. <laughs> but, yeah, she was just so weird. And I really hate coming across weird people. And I would like to do more collabs on my channel. But it can't just be with anybody. Like, I would prefer you could be at least an associate that I met in person at least once. Because she really wasted my time and energy for no reason. Like, then even, even after the fact, I was still being nice. And just because I couldn't come to your child's birthday party now, you just want me to be removed from your life. Like... that's cool i don't know me personally i don't take stuff like that that seriously only time i can be that heartbroken with someone not showing up for me is if i know that we like this like if this was a reverse role and she last minute and didn't come to my daughter's birthday party i'm not caring i don't even know you like that i probably wouldn't even invite her because i don't know you like that like you don't owe me nothing so many people feel so old. Like, I have another story about another girl that I thought me and her could have been real cool. But because I didn't show up to an event for her, mind you, after I just had a baby, all of a sudden, I, she unfollows me. We're not cool. Like, like I said, females are weird. And, yeah. We got a lot more weirdo stories. We still got stories about these dudes I used to mess with that, uh, why would I ever... We got some real raw stories I can't wait to share. Let y'all get to know me a little better. And yes, they will all be here every Friday. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss a story. Because story times are the tea. And yeah. <laughs> Above else, stay gorgeous. <laughs>